Today we're going to do some practice. We're working with whiteboards, but you can just work it on a spare sheet of paper if you don't have a whiteboard available to you. They're just quick workout problems just to practice all of the polygon formulas we learned. So this question is asking for the interior angle sum of a 33-sided figure. We use the formula we learned, which is number of sides minus 2 times 180. Our number of sides is 33. 33 minus 2 times 180. 31 times 180 gets us 580. So 55, 5,580 degrees. All right. Now we want to find the measure of each exterior angle of a nonagon. Each exterior angle. Go ahead and pause it, try to work out the problem, and then I'll explain it. So now we're looking for the measure of each exterior angle of the nonagon. Each exterior angle. So we just go back to our formulas, and we have the measure of each exterior angle is 360 divided by the number of sides. This is a nonagon. We want you to memorize the names of our shapes, the simple ones, the ones you had on your sheet. A nonagon has nine sides, so the formula we use is 360 divided by 9. Plug that into your calculator, you should get 40 degrees. Now, in a regular pentagon, they specify for us in a regular pentagon, what is the measure of one interior angle? One interior angle. Alright, go ahead, pause the video, work this one out, and we'll be right back. Some of you may have been like, Oh, that's easy. We memorized it. It was on our sheet. It's one of the easier ones. Some of you, if you don't remember it, we can just use our formula. It was number of sides minus 2 times 180, the total number of degrees inside a polygon, divided by the number of sides. So a pentagon, that's a common shape you learned in elementary school, has five sides. 5 minus 2 times 180 divided by 5. We did this before, we've done this in class a lot. We know a pentagon has 540 degrees on the inside. That's the sum of all interior angles. 540 divided by 5 will give us 108 degrees. That's the measure of one interior angle. Now we're going to look for the measure of one exterior angle. It gives us that one exterior angle is 20 degrees, and we're looking for the name of the polygon. One exterior angle is 20 degrees. We want the name of the polygon. You don't have to Google the name. You don't have to tell us the exact name. We just want you to know, tell the number of sides. Um, if you want, you can name it like a 13 gone, just the number of sides gone. That's the easy way to name it. They do have exact names. We aren't worried about those. If you're having trouble with this one, it's all right. We can, we're going to show how it works. We just used the formula we got for one exterior angle. 360 divided by the number of sides, but this time it's a little different. They give us the exterior angle. They give us the measure of the exterior angle. That's 20 degrees. Uh, that one's a little weirder. We don't have an end in the denominator. What do we do? We just do our algebra. If you're good with your algebra, you can solve this. If not, we can cross multiply. We have 360 times 1, so that's just 360. And then 20 times n equals 20n. Divide by 20, divide by 20. We have n equals 18. Now you can be like, hey, it's asking for the name. What's the name? I don't know the real name. If you want to know the real name, Google it. It's an 18 gone. That's what I'm going to call it. It has 18 sides and it's a polygon. Boom. Now it tells us the sum of the interior angles is 7,020 degrees. How many sides? Sum of the angles is 7,020. If it doesn't explicitly tell you how many, or if it doesn't explicitly tell you interior exterior, you can usually ex assume interior. This one, it's a dead giveaway, it's interior angles, because the sum of all exterior angles has to be 360, no matter what. This one is a lot more than 360, so we know it's the measure of the interior angles.
you don't know how to start it, look at your formulas. Your formulas are your best friends in this unit. Memorize them because there aren't that many. There's four, and one of them is a constant. So it tells us that the sum of the interior angles is 7,020. We look for the sum of interior angles. What formula is that? That is n minus 2 times 180. We've done that a lot. Even in the, just these example problems. And it tells us how much that equals. 7,020. It's just completing our algebra. Solving for n. Divide by 180. Divide by 180. 7,020 divided by 180. n minus 2 equals 39. To get n by itself, the opposite of subtracting is adding plus 2. Plus 2, n equals 41. She's just asking for the number of sides, so we don't have to put 41 there. It's just n equals 41. How many degrees are in a dodecagon? Dodecagon was one of the shapes on your sheet. Dodecagon has 12 sides. 12 side dodecagon. <laughs> it was on our note sheet. Dodecagon, 12 sides. This one, the hardest part of this problem was remembering what a dodecagon was. Dodecagon has 12 sides. Just plug that into our formula. We're looking for how many degrees are in a dodecagon. How many degrees are in the interior? 12 minus 2 times 180. 10 times 180. That is 1,800. 